Mr. Koki, Mr. Koki, Mr. Koki, we here, we sitting for a big one. You win the Kalsalo Valley Zolo. You had no worries of whether you're going or staying. <laughs> you knew your, st your, st your, your, your space where you are, who's safe or right. You've got a big one against Sundowns on Saturday. Lotil Sean and Tamba Magosha 056, so we says, wins again. We just had a press briefing, we just had, saw your training session, we just saw even the interaction with the new players. I was starting to say, how ready are you as Orlando Pirates for Sundowns that is coming to Orlando on Saturday? I can say we've never been ready. Uh, we are looking forward to the game. Um, we, the preparations have gone well so far. Uh, just have to, to wrap it up in the next coming days and make sure that uh, we're in the right mind, mind space when it comes to Saturday. Uh, it's a huge game. Uh, we know the pressure that it comes with, but uh, we, we, we played them recently and uh, we've played them quite a, a, while, a bit in this season. So we, we kind of know them, they kind of know us. So we just have to make sure we apply ourselves correctly and make sure that we play well and, and get the positive results that we need. Compared to other games, what makes this one interesting between you and Sundowns? What is it that we can look forward to? Knowing very well what in the previous ones, you've beaten them three, they've beaten them four, you, you, you've beaten them, they've beaten you, you've, take, you've kicked them out of the empty and eight. So it's more interesting for the fans. And then for you players, what makes you tick looking into this game? Uh, for, for outsiders, it's interesting because both teams are informed. Uh, they've been informed for, for many months now. Uh, it's, uh, they've set the benchmark for the league. Uh, we all try and, and, and catch up because uh, they've, they've, they've pulled away for now. So we have to make sure that we, we try and, and, and decrease the points as much as we can. That's the goal for us, is to get to each game and try to win the games and make sure that we get, we do our part uh, and then the rest will follow. So this one will be interesting because both teams are informed. That's what makes it uh, a nice one. Do you think uh, the squad is stronger now than when you started the season? Um, obviously there's a few faces that left and a few faces that came in now. Uh, our squad has been strong since the start of the season. Uh, we've just been dealt with big injury blows, but uh, we've managed to, to get through those phases, uh, even though it was not easy. Uh, but the depth in the team is, is, is huge. Uh, anyone who comes in puts in a big shift, which is what's needed for a big club like Paris. So we try and support one another also when uh, the others are out they are ones who are supposed to do the job we try and give each other support and make sure that we apply ourselves correctly so then you say you guys are underachieving if you have a quality squad i can't really put it like that uh, we have goals for sure uh, we know where we've gone short we know where we've achieved so we will look at that at the end of the season, but for now the most crucial game is, is the Saturday game and we have to make sure that we apply ourselves correctly for that game. Yeah. Um, Tabelo, um, you have played with Makaola before. Um, what does it bring to this uh, pilot squad? Uh, because you know him probably the most of the guys. I've played with Cash recently, uh, just a few months back. Uh, he was my leader there. Uh, he brings leadership, uh, he brings uh, hard steel. Uh, winning mentality is a very huge competitor as well so it's going to bring a lot of that uh, we're looking forward to, to to work with him and uh, integrate him with other guys and make sure that uh, he settles in well and uh, helps the team to achieve its targets i mean that is coming through to the club um, is it something that you 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 got a wind of before figure or was it something that surprised you it surprised many just take us through your conversation with him, knowing that he's coming here. For me, I only got to see the news yesterday, uh, and then I congratulated him, and then uh, knowing that maybe it's possible I will see him today. Uh, not so much into social media, so sometimes I miss the news and I miss the, the rumors. But uh, yesterday when uh, I saw the, the announcement, uh, then that's when I knew, okay, it's official. Because sometimes we don't really play into rumors, because. There's a lot of rumors out there, this one is going, this one is coming. So you don't want to get to in that mind games of not focusing on, on what you have to do and looking at those uh, 
headlines and stuff like that. So I only got to know the news yesterday and uh, I did congratulate him and I'm looking forward to, to, to share dressing room again with him. And uh, what will the, the win mean to you guys, players, and also chasing the, the cap spot? Uh, for us, the most important thing is three points. We're not looking at, uh, at the lob now. Uh, the win will be huge for us, for sure. Uh, we try, every game we play, we play for three points. Uh, this is one is not different. So we have to make sure that we apply ourselves correctly and make sure that we do the right things in order to get the three points. Uh, maybe the last one. Um, I know that uh, some of you players you do your own analysis in terms of you know, the opposition and stuff like that. When you look at this Sundowns attack and the way it's structured, um, what is, well, I don't have to do much, but <laughs> what will probably be the way to try and stop them because they, 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 they pretty much score every match uh, and most of the time they score more than one. Uh, they are that, that, that dangerous. What would be the best way to sort of handle them and, and try and stop them from scoring? The biggest thing that you have to do when you play a team that does so well in so many elements is to make sure that you play as a team. Uh, you can individualize them, uh, their strengths. Everyone is good in their own day. Uh, so we have to make sure that we apply ourselves as a collective and make sure that we nullify every threat that they have because they've got many threats. They've got set pieces, they can score in any way. So if we're going to focus on one element, we might miss the other. So we have to make sure that we, we nullify all the possible traits that they have. Looking at the MTN 8 victory in Rustin, in, 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 in Pulukwan, what is it that you're taking from that, that worked for you to beat Sundowns on the day? That didn't work on this previous match where they beat you? And then going into this one, what's the interlink there? Uh, the nice part is that we know when we applied ourselves correctly and do the things that we're supposed to do, we can beat them, which has been the case in Polokwane. So uh, in Pretoria, we know where we fell short. Uh, there's some things that we didn't do well. Uh, when we did our analysis, we saw where we went wrong. So we try and, and go back to the basics and make the simple things simple and uh, make sure that we apply ourselves correctly to try and get the three points.